I had only 3 days to make a 60 second promo video. The client was Realty Pro, a subscription service for real estate agents in the US. Budget was $450. The client gave me a script with 8 scenes and transitions. They also shared some design references from their website but those are only static images. No animations, no pre-built assets, just text and flat pictures. So how do you turn this into a complete motion design video in only 3 days? Let me show you step by step. So the script had 8 lines, I divided them into 8 scenes inside After Effects, 1 comp for each scene. I also had to make sure that these 8 scenes uh, should have seamless transition, so they don't look like animated presentation slides. The website screenshots gave me some colors and design ideas, but since they were static, I couldn't animate them. So I created everything inside After Effects. Normally, I use Illustrator to prepare designs, but because of the tight deadline, I skip it. Recreating all the assets directly in After Effects saved me time and let me start animating right away. So, I created a new comp, renamed it properly and added a gradient background. Now here, I pick the music. This step is important because music sets the pace and overall flow of the video. Then I added the first line of text. At this point, I had no idea what the final video would look like and that's fine. This is what I call the exploratory process. It means you don't always need a full plan before you start. Sometimes you just uh, begin with one small thing, maybe a word, maybe a shape, maybe a piece of music. And while you're working, new ideas appear. For example, when you write text in a comp, you may suddenly notice a shape or a pattern you can play with. It's like uh, building and discovering at the same time. You're not waiting for the perfect idea to come first. You just let the idea reveal itself as you work. So when I was rearranging the first text, I noticed these two dots so i animated them as eyes blinking and moving to match the meaning of the word like waiting for someone then i uses the same two circles to transition into the next scenes that becomes my first visual motif so uh, let me explain that so for example in the next line of text there's a question mark i made that symbol the main element of the scene this is where the idea of a motif becomes powerful a motif is a shape or symbol or any element that comes back again and again in your video. You can use it in many ways. This makes your video feels connected. In my video, the primary motif was circles and the secondary motif was character from the text, like the question mark. Now for scene three, I used a circle morph transition, two circles merged, split apart and revealed a globe. The globe was a 3D sphere with gloss material. Uh, basically this was a 3D element. And I used a pre-com map as texture. Next, I had to show available and own leads on the US map. So I cut from the globe into a flat US map. This is called a match cut. One shape changes into another, making the transition smooth. To make the map look slightly curved, I used optic compensation. Then I turned it into a 3D layer, added small 3D circles as dots and spread them across the US. Finally, I animated the camera to pan across the map while the text appeared. Uh, to move to the next scene, I scaled one circle until it covered the screen, changed its colors to match the next background and revealed scene 4. Now this scene was very detailed. I rebuilt the full dashboard design inside After Effects. Every icon, every shape, every text. I animated each part one by one. To keep the scene engaging, I used a close-up camera. This was time-taking, but worth it. Now for scene 5, this scene had text on the left and visuals on the right. This is called staging. Staging means you show things in a clear order so the audience knows what to look at. Because we read from left to right, the text on the left side was the first thing the audience noticed. And then their eyes will travel on the right side and will see the visuals. Now scene 6. I showed a chat between an agent and an AI bot, very simple, then this phone morph into a calendar. And the calendar morph into a graph. Uh, so basically morphing is a great way to connect ideas smoothly. This saved a lot of time because I was able to show all the features in one scene. 
and then some simple text animation after this. I call this Apple typography as it is inspired from one of the Apple typography video. Do watch it. Then again, using circles, we will animate this design. Now here's a very good trick. If you parent another object to a circle, the object rotates along with it. So instead, I linked the object to the rotation value and added a minus sign in the expression. This way, when the circles rotated forward, the object rotated backward and it stayed straight. I also used this trick earlier in scene 4 with text. So the last scene was simple. I added the closing text, the logo and the call to action. And that's how I made this $450 project in only 3 days. The client loved the video. They had their feedback so I made the changes and they approved it. I hope you have enjoyed this breakdown. If you want to see more real project case studies and motion design tips, subscribe to House of Mation and hit the bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.